Hi, I'm thanks a lot for listening to this uh, tutorial video on panel data analysis. Previously, I have made a series of videos uh, on panel data analysis, theory of uh, panel data analysis. I have made a series of video uh, on panel data analysis with data. We have to uh, feature our data in certain manner. So uh, we have uh, a series of 36 countries representing country in Sub-Saharan Africa in this uh, Excel file. So we have uh, the first country, uh, which is Benin, which have uh, in the second column the, the country ID 1. So we have here of uh, observation of our different variable, which is from 1917, 1917 to uh, 2018. So we have uh, variables such as IMF purchase, PPG, uh, GNI, which stand for gross national income, and the total debt service in percentage of good and services and primary income. Each country being uh, for example, Benin, we have one as country ID, and we have observation on Benin through 1970 to uh, 2018. We have the second country, which is Benin, Benin which is Burundi, which have uh, two as a country indicator, and we have also data running from 1970 to uh, 2018. So we have other countries such as Burkina Faso, Cameroon, and, and so on. We have, uh, first of all, country, which is repeated as much as there are time observation. Probably we have different variables that are correct in the data set. And while uh, your data set have been a uh, feature like this in this Excel file, you are now ready to run panel data analysis in eViews. So the first thing to do is to open eViews. Once eViews have been opened, you can close this tab that is open. So just go uh, to import file by clicking on file, import, and click on import from file. After clicking to in import from file, you just need to navigate your computer to go in the folder which in which your excel file is located and just click on your excel file and follow the procedure uh, through the last stage and finish your uh, importation and this tab is open asking you uh, to link imported series and alpha uh, and alpha object to external sources that's the question Click on no and you can see that your variable has been uh, recorded in eViews. So we are now ready to uh, run panel data analysis using eViews. To estimate our panel data analysis, you just need to go to quick and estimate equation. So uh, we select our dependent variable here. Our dependent variable is IMF purchase. IMF purchase following by the explanatory variable I start with constant C we have a uh, total debt service as uh, first variable we have a uh, GNI the gross national income we have PPG we have at least at last uh, we have PPG and, uh, and that's it about variable so we have a uh, our dependent variable which is IMF purchase, uh, total debt service, uh, we have uh, GNI and EPG as a variable that we are going to use to explain our IMF purchase to see whether or not uh, debts have impact on IMF purchase. So uh, we go on secondly on panel data option, panel option. So we just change cross section B fix or random effect model. So if you click on a uh, fixed effect, for example, and then click on OK, you will see that our fixed effect model has been uh, estimated, and we have uh, our coefficient, the significant. We have uh, the total debt service, which is uh, statistically significant, and the effect is positive. So the debt have and positive effect on IMF purchase.
according to uh, our fixed effect model. So we also have PPJ, which have uh, which is significant, which significantly influence the uh, IMF purchase. So the G and I didn't significantly uh, influence IMF purchase, but the sign of uh, GNI on IMF purchase is negative, meaning that if uh, GNI was statistically significant, so the impact would have been negative on IMF purchase. So let us uh, also estimate a random effect model. So we have our random effect model, which have almost a different coefficient, significant percent level. So uh, we can also, we can, for example, test for, uh, make a test with this specification in order to see whether or not uh, fix or random effect model is better in this situation. So uh, to make a uh, Hosman specification test, you need to, first of all, estimate a random effect model. So if I, I estimate a fixed effect model and go to view fixed random effect testing and uh, go on Hosman correlated random effect Hosman test, so this will show up this uh, message to, to recommend me to estimate a random effect model in order to run Hosman specification test. So we need to estimate a random effect model first in order to make a uh, Hosman specification test by clicking on view view and fix random effect testing and finally correlated random effect Hosman test so we click on OK and the result of a Hosman random test is here which uh, a p-value of uh, 40% meaning that uh, our uh, null hypothesis, which is a uh, random effect, is a uh, consistent model, is accepted. So, uh, in order, uh, rather than estimating a fixed effect model, we should estimate a random effect model. So, we have, you can see that uh, our random effect model have a very slow uh, R square. In contrary to uh, our fixed uh, effect model, uh, which have a most higher uh, R square, uh, but uh, our Hosman specification test show that we should estimate a, uh, a random effect model in order to uh, better analyze the dependence between uh, IMF uh, total debt service and the IMF. So we can, after estimating a, a, a random effect model, look for uh, residual testing. Uh, for example, uh, uh, see whether or not our residual are normally distributed or not distributed. So we can go on view and click on fix um, residual diagnostics and then click on high histogram normality test. So we can see the result of our uh, Jack Berra test, uh, which have a p-value that is almost null, meaning that we accept the null hypothesis, meaning that our stand uh, our error uh, we reject our null hypothesis, meaning that uh, our null hypothesis is uh, our residual are normally distributed. So we reject our null hypothesis, meaning that our residual are not uh, normally distributed, so we should not uh, use this model to analyze the impact of uh, debt on IMF purchase because one of our uh, hypotheses in which uh, panel that analysis today is violated. So we can also uh, look at the uh, serial correlation in residual, so we also go on view residual and uh, cross-sectional dependent tests and you can see that uh, we didn't have enough information in order to compute this test that's because some of the statistics and p-value are unavailable because of uh, because of the fact that our panel is not very uh, not balanced not balanced and there are many missing data in our, our panel
pun lah. Uh, uh, pun lah tu uh, have any other uh, possibility of estimating uh, testing for uh, normal distribution of residual a zero elasticity or serial correlation in our residual. So that's it for this uh, tutorial on panel data analysis.